morning. Let's all stand for today morning worship service. As you all know, today we are celebrating World Sunday School Day. Our Sunday School teachers and students will be leading the worship service. Let's pray. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout loud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and exalt him with music and song. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all deserts known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's all sing together hymn number Sunday School Special Worship Order we are using now. Those who are assisting, please come forward.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, forever. Amen. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come, and is to come again in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, mighty Lord. Holy art thou, immortal Lord. O Lord the Messiah, who is crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, mighty Lord. Holy art thou, immortal Lord. O Lord the Messiah, who is crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, mighty Lord. Holy art thou, immortal Lord. O Lord the Messiah, who is crucified for us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have compassion and mercy upon us. Lord, accept our praise and worship, and have mercy upon us. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, Creator of all. Glory to you, O King, the Messiah, for you have compassion on your sinful servants. Bless us, O Lord. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us in the time of trial, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. O oh God, our loving Father, the creator of everything and source of all gifts, we glorify you for creating us marvelously in your image. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, who was pleased by the innocence of the little children and gave them the greatest place in the kingdom of God, we, glory, we your children, magnify you. O oh Holy Spirit, who inspires us to follow the way of Christ, taught us in love and care and including everyone, we adore you. O Holy Trinity, we ascribe all glory, honor, and praise unto you, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Prayer of Confession. Have mercy on me, O God. According to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me away from my sin. Psalms chapter 51, verses 1 to 2. Each prayer, our response shall be, merciful God, forgive us. For the times we have been slow or apathetic to study the word diligently and fail to realize the relationship you have been offering us, and when we have not fostered a love of knowing you for these our shortcomings. Merciful God, forgive us. For the times when we have made others feel sad using human words, when we have in big and small ways bullied others, and we have hurt God's heart with our silence when we did not stand for others who are being bullied, for these are shortcomings. Merciful God, forgive us. For our waywardness when we have spent more time with idolizing our own making, excessive social media, video games, other addictions to technology and other substances, and self-obsessions that have taken away our focus on you. For these are shortcomings. Merciful God, forgive us. When we have put academics above spirituality, when we believe that knowing facts about you is more important than knowing you, when we claim to know you but fail to show you love through our actions, for these are shortcomings. Merciful God, forgive us. Prayer of thanksgiving. All your works praise you. Lord, your faithful people exalt you. Each prayer our response shall be, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. Lord, for giving us a learning place we call home, which inspires you, which inspires us to grow in the foundations of divine faith for our parents and siblings and the lessons of faith we learn from them. Dear Lord, we, we give, give you thanks. thanks. For all teach and guide and guide and inspire us to continue the word of God 
especially for our parents, Achin's elders, Sunday school teachers, and other role models who provide us with insights into who you are and your love for us. Dear Lord, we, we give, give you thanks for your divine will in founding the church, the hands and the feet of your work in this world to reveal your divine plan of salvation, for, in, for instituting the Sunday school to lead, to lead us towards Jesus Christ, especially for the Martome Sunday School, uh, which natures us in the vision of the kingdom of God. Dear Lord, we give you thanks. Prayer of petition. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. Psalms 116, verses 1 to 2. Each prayer our response shall be, hear our prayer and answer unto us. Hear our prayer and answer unto us. Let us pray for nature and all of God's creation. Let us pray for the millions of people who are being affected by COVID-19 and that a cure will be brought to the public soon. Let us ask for peace for those who have lost a loved one during this season, as well as those who have been affected by natural disasters, such as floods, wildfires, and hurricanes. Let us pray for the children who have lost their parents, parents who have lost their children, those who have lost their homes, books, and other materials. Let us pray that they overcome the situation and start over with new hope. Dear God, hear our prayers and answer unto us. Let us pray for those who are in governance. Let us pray that the whole world may receive leaders who strive towards establishing truth, justice, and peace. Let us pray that God may empower the people in leadership to work toward ending corruption and discrimination and uphold especially the rights and dignity of children and other overlooked groups everywhere. Dear God, Hear our prayer and answer unto us. Let us pray for all who work in the field of education and educational institutions. Let us pray that God may help all teachers to instruct the new generation in goodness and faithfulness by imparting wisdom, values, and examples. Dear God, hear our prayer and answer unto us. Let us pray for the Universal Church, especially for the Martoma Syrian Church. Let us pray for the Suffragan Metropolitan, Velia Metropolitan, bishops, achins, deacons, evangelists, and the faithful community. Let us thank God for the life of Joseph Martono Metropolitan and the continued leadership of Givergis Matirdosha Suffragan Metropolitan. Let us pray for the Martoma Sunday School Samajam, President Bishop, General Secret General Secret Assistant Secretary, Office Bearers at the Saba, Diocese, Register Center, and Parish Levels, Teachers and Students. Let us pray for the world being supported by the Diocesan Sunday School, Native American Mission, Mexico Mission, Light to Life, and Neighborhood Mission. Dear God, hear our prayer and answer unto us. Let us dedicate ourselves before, before God, dedication, prayer, all together. Our Lord and our God, God as, as we observe, observe this blessed, blessed day, day as, as the World Sunday, Sunday School Day, day we, we humble, humble ourselves, ourselves and dedicate our, our hearts to you. To you. We, we submit ourselves completely to love, love and serve, serve you respectfully. You respectfully obey Bear our parents and elders, and elders to, to humbly submit, submit to our teachers and to think, talk, and, and act according to the way of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Now lessons will be read. The first lesson is taken from Proverbs chapter 23, verses 15 to 26. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 15 to 26. My son, if your heart is wise, then my heart will be glad indeed. Then my heart will be glad, my inmost being will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Do not let your heart invade sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Listen, my son, and be wise. Set your heart on the right path, and do not join those who drink too much wine or the george themselves on meat. For drunkards and glutens become poor, and drowsiness clothes them in rags. 
Listen to your father who gave you life. Do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Wisdom, instruction, and insight as well. The father of righteous child has great joy. A man who fathers a wise son rejoices in him. May your father and mother rejoice. May she who gave you birth be joyful. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes delight in my ways. Here in the first lesson. The second lesson is taken from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 13. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 13. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings us so closely. And let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame and has taken a seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as my children. My child, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, or lose heart when you are punished by him. For the Lord disciplines those whom he loves, and chastises every child whom he accepts. In their trials, for the sake of discipline, God is treating you as children. For what child is there whom a parent does not discipline? If your children share, then you are illegitimate to the parents who discipline. Moreover, we as humans have parents to discipline us, and we are respected by them. Should we not be even more willing to be subject to the Father of Spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time, as seemed best to them, but he disciplines us to our good in order that we may share his holiness. Now discipline always seems painful rather than pleasant at the time, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but rather be healed. Here ends the second lesson. In your light we see the light, Jesus, full of light. It's your light that shines upon our world, light our Spirit and truth, pure and holy one, one who dwells on high in matches of light, cleanse our hearts and souls. We lift them up unto. Christ, 
of Bere, baptized by John, have mercy on us. We magnify you, O Lord our King, only begotten Son, Word of the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, immortal in your nature, who was born in the Virgin Mary for the life and salvation of humankind. Without change of nature, you became the Son of Man and was crucified for us, thus trampling death underfoot and destroying it forever. You are the one in the Holy Trinity and are worshiped and glorified, equally with your Father and the living and Holy Spirit. Have mercy upon us. Holy are thou, O God. Holy are thou, mighty Lord. Holy are thou, immortal Lord. O thou who hast crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy are thou. of your Holy Gospel, the teachings of the Apostles, the riches of your divine wisdom and the gift of your Holy Spirit, enable us to obey your commands gladly and to fulfill your holy will perfectly. Amen. From the Epistle of First John. Praise you, O Lord, the Apostles. O Lord, Lord grant us grace to discern your word. My dear friends, this command I am writing to you is not new. It is the old command, the one you have had from the very beginning. The old command is the message you have already heard. However, the command I am not write, now writing to you is new, because its truth is seen in Christ and also in you. For the darkness is passing away, and the real light is already shining. Whoever says that he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is in the darkness to this very hour. Whoever loves his brother lives in the light, and so there is nothing in him that will cause someone else to sin. But whoever hates his brother is in the darkness. He walks in it and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has made him blind. I'm writing to you, my children, because your sins are forgiven for the sake of Christ. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who has existed from the beginning. I'm writing to you, young men, because you have defeated the evil one. I'm writing to you, my children, because you know the Father. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who has existed from the beginning. I'm writing to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you have defeated the evil one. Do not love the world or anything that belongs to the world. If you love the world, you do not love the Father. Everything that belongs to the world, what the sinful self desires, what people see and want, and everything in this world that people are so proud of, none of this come from the Father. It all comes from the world. The world and everything in it that people desire is passing away, but he who does the will of God lives forever. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Offer sacrifice of praise to the Lord. Come and worship in His holy court. Brothers and sisters, let us stand in silence, O oh, and reverence, and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God, of God from the gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace be with you all. May the Lord make us all worthy to listen to his word. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which proclaims life and salvation to the world, as recorded by the Apostle St. John. Blessed is he who has come and will come again. Praise to the Father who sent him for our salvation. May his blessings be ever upon us. In the days of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the word of life, God incarnated of the Blessed Virgin Mary, it happened in this way. So we believe and affirm. After this, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias, and a large crowd was followed him, because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was at hand. Lifting up his eyes then, and seeing that a large crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, 200 denarii would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy. Here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they for so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down, about 5,000 in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, Gather up the loftiest fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, this is, this is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. Peace be with you all. And also with you, we thank you, Lord, that you give us your gospel, which is the light of the world to draw us closer to you, enable us by your grace to give praise to you through the living words from your gospel. Let us pray to the Lord for his blessings and mercy. O Lord, who is source of all blessings, help us and bless us. O Lord, help us continually to offer praise and thanksgiving to you. To him who absolves us from all our debts and pardons our sins. To him who receives a penitent and rejoices in the return of sinners. To him who has promised, call and I will answer. No can I will open and stretch forth my hand to pardon your sins and iniquities. To him belong glory and honor and worship at this time 
and all the days of our lives. Amen. Almighty and glorious Lord, save us from the vile of the evil one. Lord, in your grace and mercy, you took flesh of the Blessed Virgin Mary and became human. Lord of lords, do not banish us from your presence and from the company of the angels, who continually praise your holy name and proclaim aloud that the Lord God is holy. Show us the way of life and salvation, so that we may persevere to attain your glorious kingdom. Lord Jesus, look upon us with the eye of mercy. Save us from our enemies and all those that would hurt us. Protect us in the shadow of your cross. Lord Jesus, save us from all deceit and greed. Save us from all evil thoughts, defilements and blasphemy. Lord Jesus, make us to rejoice with all the children of your kingdom. To you and to the Father and to the Holy Spirit, we ascribe all praise and thanksgiving, now and forever. Amen. O oh Lord God, who makes the sinner righteous, pardon our sins and make us holy. Blot out all my sins, through your loving mercy, good Lord, wipe away the sins of all believers. O oh Lord God, in your mercy and goodness, remember us, our parents, brothers and sisters, our bishops, clergy, teachers of the faith, and all faithful children of your holy and glorious church. Lord God, comfort us in body, mind, and spirit. Shower your mercy upon us, be the remission of our sins. Make us all worthy of the good end that is set for all children of peace. To you we offer praise and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. We can sinful as we are. Let us confess and together say, Holy is the Holy Father. Amen. Holy is the Holy Son. Amen. Holy is the living and Holy Spirit. Amen. We believe in the one true God, the Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible, we believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all world, light of light, very God of very God, God not made, being one substance of the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. He was crucified also for us, in the days of Pontius Pilate, suffered and died and was buried. The third day he rose again by his Father's holy will, ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with the glory to judge, both the living and the dead. Of his kingdom there will be no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and apostles. We believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for remission of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the new life for the world to come. Amen. Please be seated.
those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, please come forward for the Thanksgiving prayer. Then when a Sotra Parthana Gadam, Vivaka Vashi a Sotra Parthana Gadu, we give on the Clover Cup, Parthana Gadam and Bota Karnaval. ൂ <laughs> ദൈവം നമ്പരാൻ നൽകിയ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ആയുസിൽ ദൈവം നമ്പരാൻ നൽകിയ നന്മകളെ ഓർത്തുകൊണ്ട് നന്ദി കരേറ്റുവാൻ ബർത്ത് ഡേ സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഓരോ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരെയും നിന്റെ കരങ്ങളിലേക്ക് ഏൽപ്പിച്ചെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ദൈവം ഇതുവരെയും കാത്തു പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞ ഒരു വർഷക്കാലം വലിയ പ്രതിസന്ധിയുടെ മധ്യത്തിലൂടെ കടന്നു പോകുമ്പോഴും ദൈവം കാത്തു പരിപാലിച്ചതിനായി നന്ദിയോട് സ്തോത്രം ദൈവം ഈ പുതിയ വർഷം എല്ലാവിധമായ നന്മകളുടെയും അനുഗ്രഹത്തിൻ്റെയും വർഷമാക്കി തീർക്കണമേ എന്ന് പ്രത്യേകമായി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ വലിയ കരുതലും കാവലും ഒക്കെ ഞങ്ങളെല്ലാവരും അനുഭവ പാന്തക്കണം സഹായിക്കണം പ്രവേശിക്കുന്ന പുതുവശം ഏറ്റവും അനുഗ്രഹത്തിൻ്റെയും നന്മയുടെയും സമർപ്പണത്തിൻ്റെയും വർഷമാകി തീർവാന്തക്കണം സഹായിക്കണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു വെഡിങ് ആനിവേഴ്സറി സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട മക്കൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രത്യേകം പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു പരിശുദ്ധ ആലയത്തിൽ വെച്ച് ദൈവം നമ്പരാൻ നിന്റെ മക്കളെ ഒരുമിച്ച് കൂട്ടിച്ചേർത്ത നിമിഷം മുതൽ ഈ സമയം വരെയും അവരുടെ ഫാമിലി ലൈഫിലൊക്കെ വ്യാപരിച്ച എല്ലാ ദൈവകൃപകൾക്കായി ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കരുണ കരുണയ്ക്കായി കരുതലിനായി നന്ദിയോടെ നന്ദിയോടെ സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു ദൈവമായ കൃതാവേ ദൈവം നമ്പരാൻ ഇതുവരെയും കുടുംബമായി കാത്തു സകല നന്മകളെയും കൊണ്ട് നിറച്ചു കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ നൽകി ദൈവം എല്ലാം പരിപാലിച്ചു നന്ദിയോട് സ്തോത്രം കർത്താവെ പ്രവേശിക്കുന്നതായ പുതുവർഷം കുടുംബമായി അനുഗ്രഹിതരായി തുറന്നും ജീവിപ്പാൻ സൗഖ്യത്തോടെ ആരോഗ്യത്തോടെ ജീവിപ്പാൻ ദൈവം കരുണ ചെയ്യണമേന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഇന്ന് പല കാരണത്താൽ നിന്ന് കടന്നു വരാൻ കഴിയാതിരിക്കുന്നവരെയും വിവിധ ഭവനങ്ങളിലായിരിക്കുന്നവരെയും ഞങ്ങൾ ഓർക്കുന്നവരും പ്രവേശിക്കുന്ന പുതുവർഷം എല്ലാവർക്കും അനുഗ്രഹത്തിന് കാരണമാക്കി തീർക്കണമെന്ന് യേശു ശിഹാമൂലം ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങയുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ദേതോ നീ കേൾക്കുമാറാകണമേ അമേ Notice of publication of the Adao Sangam Members List, Voters List 2020. The list of Adao Sangam Members, Voters List 2020 has been published for the review and correction. Those who have any questions or clarification, please inform me through written letter before November 8th, Sunday, 5 p.m. The final list will be published on November 15th, Sunday. This list is prepared. and updated based on it our register and previous year voters list with prayers yours in christ sir anish thomas thomas vigar christo smartoma church amade ee varshathe voters list idavu sangha list amade notice board il publish cheyidittunde ningalku adu nokki edengilum tharathil 
തിരുത്തുകൾ ഉണ്ടുവരണമെങ്കിൽ അത് എന്നെ രേഖാമൂലം അറിയിക്കണം എന്നുള്ളത് സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ ഇന്ന് വേൾഡ് സെൻട്രൽ സ്കൂൾ ഡേ ആയി സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതായ ദിവസമാണല്ലോ ഈ ദിവസം നമുക്ക് ഇത്രയും പേർക്കെങ്കിലും ദൈവസന്നദ്ധയിൽ ഒരുമിച്ച് കടന്നു വരുവാൻ ദൈവത്തെ ആരാധിപ്പാൻ ലഭിക്കുന്ന അവസരത്തിനായി നിന്നൊരു സ്തോത്രം നമ്മുടെ ഇടവേളയിലെ സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളെ ഓർത്ത് ദൈവത്തിന് നന്ദി ഏറ്റുവാണ് ഈ പാൻഡമിക്കിൻ്റെ നാളുകളിലൂടെ കടന്നു പോകുമ്പോഴും ഒരു ദിവസം പോലും മുടങ്ങാതെ സൺഡേ സ്കൂളിൻ്റെ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ നടന്നു വന്നുകൊണ്ടേയിരിക്കുന്നു വെക്കേഷൻ സമയത്താണെങ്കിൽ ബി ബി എസ് വളരെ ഭംഗിയായി സൺഡേ സ്കൂളിൻ്റെ ക്രമീകരണ പ്രകാരം നടത്തപ്പെട്ടു സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഡെഡിക്കേഷൻ നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യുവാനായിട്ട് സാധിച്ചു കോളേജ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസിൻ്റെയും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സ്കൂളിൽ പഠിക്കുന്നതായ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളുടെയും ഡെഡിക്കേഷൻ പ്രത്യേക ഈ സാഹചര്യത്തിൽ നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യുവാനായിട്ട് സാധിച്ചു എല്ലാ ഞായറാഴ്ചയും രാവിലെ നയൻ എ എമ്മിന് നമ്മുടെ സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ ഓൺലൈനിലൂടെ ആരംഭിക്കുകയും കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളത് പരിമിതിയുടെ മധ്യത്തിലാണെങ്കിലും നന്നായി അത് കൈകാര്യം ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻജോയ് ചെയ്യുന്നു പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് പേരൻസിൻ്റെയൊക്കെ ഒരു വലിയ എഫേർട്ട് അതിനകത്തുണ്ട് നിങ്ങളെ പ്രത്യേകം അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ ടീച്ചേഴ്സിനെ എല്ലാവരും ഞാൻ പ്രത്യേകം ഈ സമയത്ത് അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുകയാണ് അവരുടെ ഒരു കമ്മിറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് അവരുടെ എഫേർട്ടൊക്കെ തുടർന്ന് അനുഗ്രഹമായി തീരട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഇന്ന് ഇന്ന് ഞാൻ ആദ്യം ഓർപ്പിച്ചതുപോലെ സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളും ടീച്ചേഴ്സുമാണ് ഇന്നത്തെ ആരാധനയിൽ വിവിധ തരത്തിലുള്ള നേതൃത്വം നൽകുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നത് സൺഡേ സ്കൂളിൻ്റെ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളെ തുടർന്നും ഓർത്തുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണമേ എന്ന് പ്രത്യേകമായിട്ട് ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ നമ്മുടെ ഈ വർഷത്തെ കൺവെൻഷൻ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ അനൗൺസ് ചെയ്തതുപോലെ ഈ ആഴ്ച വ്യാഴം തേഴ്സ്ഡേ ഫ്രൈഡേ ആൻഡ് സാറ്റർഡേ ഈ മൂന്ന് ദിവസങ്ങളായി നടത്തപ്പെടുകയാണല്ലോ നവംബർ ഫിഫ്ത് സിക്സ്ത് ആൻഡ് സെവൻത്ത് ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിലെ കൺവെൻഷൻ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഒരു പാൻഡമിക്കിൻ്റെ നാളുകളിലൂടെ നമ്മൾ കടന്നു പോകുമ്പോൾ എല്ലാവർക്കും ദേവാലയത്തിൽ ഒരുമിച്ച് കടന്നു വരുവാൻ കഴിയുകയില്ല എന്നാൽ കുറേ ആളുകൾക്ക് നമുക്ക് ദേവാലയത്തിൽ കടന്നു വരുവാനുള്ള അവസരവും ഉണ്ട് സൺഡേ ആരാധനയിൽ രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് പോലെ തന്നെ ഓരോ ദിവസത്തേക്കുമുള്ള രജിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഇന്ന് തന്നെ എല്ലാവർക്കും ഇമെയിലായിട്ട് സെക്രട്ടറി സുമോദ് അയച്ചു നൽകുന്നതാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ആ എന്നാണ് നിങ്ങൾ വരുവാനായി താല്പര്യപ്പെടുന്നത് ആ ദിവസം നിങ്ങൾ സെലക്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഓൺലൈനിലായിട്ട് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്യണം പള്ളിയിൽ കടന്നു വരാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നവർ ഓൺലൈനിൽ രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്യണം എന്ന സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ മൂന്ന് ദിവസം വരണമെങ്കിൽ മൂന്ന് ദിവസം ഒരു ദിവസം മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ ഒരു ദിവസം നിങ്ങളുടെ സൗകര്യം അനുസരിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അത് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്യാവുന്നതാണ് അതുകൂടാതെ നമുക്ക് ഭവനത്തിലിരുന്നും ഇതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഈ ആരാധന സംബന്ധിക്കുന്നവർ തന്നെ ഭവനത്തിലും ലൈവ് സ്ട്രീമായിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഈ കൺവെൻഷനിൽ പങ്കുകൊള്ളാവുന്നതാണ് സുമോദ് ജെ കെ ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫി ഡോട്ട് കോമിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അത് ലഭ്യമായി തീരുന്നു ലൈവ് സ്ട്രീമിലൂടെ നിങ്ങൾക്കത് ലഭ്യമായി തീരുന്നതാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഭവനത്തിലിരുന്നും ഈ ദേവാലയത്തിൽ കടന്നു വന്നുമൊക്കെ കൂടുതൽ ആളുകളുടെ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേഷൻ കൺവെൻഷൻ്റെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടാകണം ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ കൺവെൻഷന് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം അനുഗ്രഹിതരായ മൂന്ന് ദൈവദാസന്മാരെ തിരുവചന ശുശ്രൂഷയ്ക്ക് നമുക്ക് ലഭിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ആദ്യത്തെ ദിവസം തേഴ്സ്ഡേ ടീനക് സെൻറ്റ് പീറ്റേഴ്സ് മർദ്ദമായിട്ട് വകയിൽ വികാരിയായിരിക്കുന്ന ബഹുമാനപ്പെട്ട സാം ടി മാത്യു അച്ഛൻ സെക്കൻഡ് ഡേയിൽ ബഥേൽ മർദ്ദമായിട്ട് വകയുടെ വികാരിയായിരിക്കുന്ന പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട സജു ചാക്കോ അച്ഛൻ തേർഡ് ഡേ സാറ്റർഡേയിൽ ഫിൽഫിയ മർദ്ദമ ഇടവകയുടെ വികാരിയായിരിക്കുന്ന ജിനു എബ്രഹാം അച്ഛൻ ഈ മൂന്ന് വൈദികരാണ് ഈ ഓരോ ദിവസത്തെയും കൺവെൻഷൻ യോഗങ്ങൾക്ക് തിരുവചന ശുശ്രൂഷ നൽകി നമ്മളെ സഹായിക്കുന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ ക്രമീകരണങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾ പ്രത്യേകം ഓർക്കുകയും ഈ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ ക്രമീകരണങ്ങളെ ഓർത്ത് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയും സഹകരിക്കുകയും സഹായിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണം എന്നുള്ളത് വളരെ സന്തോഷത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ നമ്മളുടെ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ ഇനി ഒരു കൽപ്പന വായിക്കാനുണ്ട് ഇന്ന് മുതൽ നമ്മളുടെ വിശുദ്ധ വിപാന സെർവ് ചെയ്യുന്നതായിട്ടുള്ള നൽകുന്നതായിട്ടുള്ള രീതി അഭിയുന്നിയ എപ്പിസ്കോപ്പൽ സിനഡ് ഈ പ്രത്യേക പാൻഡമിക്കിൻ്റെ നാളുകളിൽ ഒരു പുനഃക്രമീകരിച്ച് നമുക്ക് നിർദ്ദേശം നൽകിയിട്ടുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇന്ന് മുതൽ നമ്മൾ കുർബാന സ്വീകരിക്കാനായിട്ട് വരുന്നവർ ഇതുവരെ നമ്മൾ കുർബാന നിങ്ങളുടെ മൗത്
അതിൽ ഉള്ള വീഞ്ഞ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് നിങ്ങൾ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ട് അന്മാര ശുശ്രൂഷകർ കൂടെ വരും അവരുടെ കയ്യിൽ അതിൻ്റെ ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്പോസിബിൾ കപ്പാണ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് വരും ദിവസങ്ങൾ പെർമനൻ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഉപയോഗിക്കത്തക്ക രീതിയിലുള്ള കപ്പുകളാണ് ക്രമീകരിക്കുന്നത് അത് കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് അപ്പോൾ നമ്മളുടെ ഇന്ന് മുതലുള്ള വിശുദ്ധ കുബാന സ്വീകരിക്കുന്നതായ ആ രീതി ഇന്ന് മുതൽ നമ്മുടെ സഭയായി ഒരു വ്യത്യാസം വരുത്തിയിരിക്കുകയാണ് എന്നുള്ളത് നിങ്ങളെ സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ നമ്മുടെ ഭദ്രാസനം ക്രമീകരിച്ച ഒരു ഡയറക്ടറി അത് പബ്ലിഷ് ചെയ്യപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്നു ആ ഡയറക്ടറി മുൻകൂട്ടി ബുക്ക് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളതായ ആളുകൾ പേര് കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്ന ആളുകൾ ഏതാണ്ട് പതിനെട്ട് ആളുകളോളം നമ്മുടെ ഇടവകയിൽ നിന്ന് പേര് കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അവരുടെ കോപ്പികൾ എൻ്റെ കൈവശമുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഇന്ന് വന്നിട്ടുള്ള ആരെങ്കിലും അത് ബുക്ക് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നുവെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങളത് ഈ ആരാധനയ്ക്ക് ശേഷം അത് വാങ്ങിക്കണം എന്നുള്ളത് സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ നമ്മൾ നവംബർ മാസത്തിലെ പ്രവേശിച്ചല്ലോ ഒരു ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ ഇയറിൻ്റെ അവസാനം ഇനി ഈ നവംബർ ഡിസംബർ കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഈ വർഷത്തെ ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ ഇയർ അവസാനിപ്പി അവസാനിക്കുകയാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് ദേവാലയത്തിൽ നൽകുവാനായിട്ടുള്ള ഡ്യൂസ് നിങ്ങൾ കൊടുക്കുവാനായിട്ടുള്ള തുകകൾ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ തന്നെ അത് കൊടുത്ത് നിങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കണം എന്ന് പ്രത്യേകമായിട്ട് ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ കഴിഞ്ഞ ഞായറാഴ്ച നമ്മൾ കുടുംബ പ്രതിഷ്ഠാ ദിനമായിട്ടൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ആഘോഷിച്ചല്ലോ കുടുംബ പ്രതിഷ്ഠാ ദിവസമാണ് നമ്മൾ വണ്ട ഇൻകം നമ്മൾ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം വന്നതായ ആളുകൾ അത് നൽകി ഇന്ന് വന്നിട്ടുള്ളവർ നിങ്ങൾ ഓഫർ ട്രീയോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഈ ഓഫർ ട്രീ ബോക്സിൽ സമർപ്പിക്കാവുന്നതാണ് ഇല്ലാത്ത ആളുകൾക്ക് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വെണ്മോ ഈ തരത്തിൽ ഉപയോഗിക്കാവുന്നതാണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ വണ്ട ഇൻകമോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഏതെങ്കിലും തരത്തിലുള്ള ഡ്യൂസ് മറ്റ് ദേവാലയത്തിന് നൽകുവാനായിട്ടുള്ള പണമൊക്കെ നൽകുവാൻ വെണ്മോയും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാവുന്നതാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ തരത്തിലൊക്കെ ഇടവകയുടെ ആവശ്യങ്ങളെ മനസ്സിലാക്കി പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഈ ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ ഇയർ അവസാനിക്കാൻ പോവുകയായതുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ നൽകുവാനായിട്ടുള്ള പണം നൽകി ഇടവകയെ സഹായിക്കണം എന്നും വളരെ സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഈ സമയത്ത് ഓർപ്പിക്കുന്നു ഇപ്പോൾ പാട്ട് പാടുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഓഫ് ഇട്രി കളക്ട് ചെയ്യും Let's pray. Our heavenly gracious Father, we thank you and praise you for the, all the blessings which you've given to us. Lord, bless this offertory and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the world, Sunday school day, I celebrate in the Vissam. 
നമ്മുടെ സൺഡേ സ്കൂളിൻ്റെ സൂപ്രണ്ടായിരിക്കുന്ന പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട മിസ്റ്റർ തോമസ് ഫിലിപ്പ് പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട സൈജാൻ ഇപ്പോൾ ദൈവവചനത്തിൽ നിന്ന് നമ്മളോട് സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് Good morning church family. It's been a while. Even though I can see the faces, I hope you are uh, happy and smiling. But uh praise to be with God's people on a Lord's day. So thank God for this opportunity to be in the house of God. First of all, I just want to thank God Almighty for giving me this opportunity to stand before you with the word of God. I also thank our dear Anisha Chin and all the Sunday school committee and everyone else uh who allowed me to stand before you this uh, Sunday morning. As Sachin said uh, today is the World Sunday school day. I know we usually have a uh, elaborate processions and you know this church must have been filled with children wearing white clothes and singing songs and participating in different uh, worship services but unfortunately we know the reality but uh, god is faithful so we are in this pandemic together but god is faithful i just want to bring your attention to a couple of things before i uh, get into the word of god we are celebrating 10th anniversary of christo sunday school So as Sunday school we have different opportunities for our children our youths to get involved and one of them of course is Sunday school Sunday school praise and worship Sunday school classes then we also have high school fellowship once a month uh fourth Saturday of the month we also have youth fellowship every Friday so parents and uh, our youngsters please make it a point to be part of these different ministry opportunities for our spiritual growth as Christos family and i also want to thank all the sunday school teachers and parents who are taking their time and effort to make sure that your children are edified with the word of god so praise god for your sincere efforts and commitment to the sunday school ministry let's uh, bow down well let me just open the word of god So if you have your bible let's open to the gospel of John chapter 6 verse 1 through 14 gospel of John chapter 6 verses 1 through 14 and I'm going to read just one verse because this was already read as part of the gospel today gospel reading here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish but how far will they go among so many here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish but how will they go among so many let's come before the lord before we start with our meditation please take a moment to quiet our minds and our hearts and be still before the lord and ask the lord lord be merciful to us lord speak to us this morning lord we are hungry for your word lord we ask for your anointing on your people we are christos family lord use us so that we become anointed to do your ministry in this city of philadelphia Lord we thank you for all our Sunday school children our teachers we commit them into your hands Lord protect them keep them from all the satanic schemes all the wretched and wicked world temptations Lord we commit our church family into your hands 
Lord, speak to our hearts. As we open, our, open the word, we ask that you open our hearts to receive your word with gratitude and to apply that word into our day-to-day -day lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Every World Sunday School day, during the message, you probably heard about Robert Brakes. He was an Anglican layman, lived in London in the 1700s. I think the Sunday School movement started in the 1780s. He was the pioneer of the Sunday School movement. So as I was meditating on this passage, God put me a thought in my heart. The Sunday School actually originated about 2,000 years ago. It started with Apostle Andrew. Any time we read about Apostle Andrew, we can see Andrew is bringing someone to Jesus Christ. So if you want to just refer to that passages, first of all, in the Gospel of John chapter 1, we read the calling of the apostles, first apostles. And there we can see Andrew was one of the apostles of John the Baptist. And when Jesus was passing by, John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God. Hearing this, this Andrew, the apostles, followed Jesus. When Jesus turned around and see Apostle Andrew following him, he asked him, What do you want? Then he asked, he said, Rabbi, where are you staying? Jesus said, come and you will see. So Andrew followed Jesus and went to the place that Jesus was staying, staying and he spent the day with Jesus. So the very first thing Andrew did after that, immediately, he was, he, he was on a mission to find his brother, Simon Peter. The very first thing. And he said, we have found the Messiah. Wow, what a proclamation. He followed Jesus Christ. And the moment he saw and recognized Jesus as the Messiah, he said, we have found the Messiah. What is the motto of Sunday school? Motto of the Sunday school is, come to Jesus and bring every child to Jesus. So, here is a perfect example, Andrew, bringing not only this little boy in this passage, but even before he bringing this little boy to Jesus Christ, he's bringing his own family, he's bringing his brother, Simon Peter, to Jesus Christ. And the second example is in this portion that we read. He's bringing this little boy with his five loaves and two fish. So that's why I said, he is the first Sunday school teacher and he initiated Sunday school. And there is another apostle mentioned there and that is Philip. And there we read that, you know, Jesus saw this huge crowd and the day was getting long and Jesus had compassion on, this crowd, on these people. They were hungry. They didn't ask for food but Jesus felt their hunger. He felt their actual need. So Jesus is asking Philip, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? And there he says, he knew what he was, he was going to do, what Jesus was going to do, but he did, he asked this question to test Philip. Well, that brings up another point. God test our faith. And of course, Andrew was thinking, his mind was going in terms of the finance, the money. He said, Lord, it's impossible. Even 200 denarii worth of food would not be enough for everyone to have a single bite. But that's okay. Even though he failed, he should have said, Lord, you can bring bread from heaven. That's what he should have said because he had witnessed the miracles starting from the wedding in Cana. He had 
seen several miracles. But for the moment, he failed that test of faith. But don't discredit Philip, because we see, again, in John, the Gospel of John, chapter 1, Jesus calling Philip, follow me. And immediately he followed Jesus. Not only he followed Jesus, but he also found Nathaniel. And he said, we have found the one whom Moses wrote in the scriptures. So again, along with Andrew, Philip is another disciple bringing someone to Christ. So this morning, the first message is for, especially for our teachers and our leaders. We need to bring people in the crowd to Christ. There are people who are hungry for Christ, for love, for purpose and meaning in love. We need to bring them to Christ. That is why Christos is in the city of Philadelphia. We need to reach out. There are people who need to hear the good news. Who else we need for Sunday school? We need students. So who is the first student of the Sunday school? This boy. We don't know his name. But all we know is that what? He brought this five small barley loaves and two fish. That was his lunch. Even though we don't have much details about this little boy, we have some clues. What are these clues? Well, first of all, we can see this boy was raised in a godly home. Why did I say that? Well, this boy did not give a portion of his lunch. He did not give 10%. He gave his entire lunch into the hands of the Lord. So I give the credit to his parents because the parents not only packed this lunch for their son, but they also packed something heavy inside him. What is it? That is an, a valuable lesson, a, an attitude of selfless giving to this young boy. He did not hold it to himself. He gave the entire life. It was a total dedication. And not only that, these parents might have taught him about a coming Messiah, which is mentioned in the Jewish scriptures. They knew that the Messiah would come. And when this boy saw, well, he came prepared with this lunch to hear and witness Jesus Christ doing these miracles, casting out demons. So when he saw this, the Spirit of God might have prompted in his heart, okay, this is not their regular you know, scribes and their Pharisee or the teachers of the Lord. This is someone with authority. He is casting out demons. He has power. He has authority. He is different. So, the point is, I think the, the theme is learning and nurturing the faith and practice. Learning and nurturing as a family. That is where the role of dad and mom to young children. You know, let me tell you frankly, my dear brothers and sisters, this world is not very conducive for our children to grow spiritually or even morally. Anything goes. So it is our duty and our call as parents, as teachers, to guide these children in the way of the Lord. Now, coming back to this little boy. This boy was really, probably very young, maybe 12 years old. And what did he brought for lunch? He brought this five small barley loaves. John mentioned that he, the bread was made of barley. You know, what about, uh, you know barley was the cheapest grain at that time. It was the food of the poor. Wealthy people eat bread made out of wheat. So this boy was from a very poor family. But he was rich inside. 
Amazing. What a little boy can do. So the church today need teachers like Andrew and Philip. We need boys and girls like this little boy who are willing to give themselves to Jesus Christ. Jesus is doing the miracle. He's not asking us to do the miracle and feeding this 5,000 or all this multitude. He's asking simple things. He's asking simple obedience. Follow me. Bring others to Christ. Share the good news of the gospel. Love one another. Share what you have with the less fortunate people. You know, I had to comment all those children and parents. You know, Sachin said, our church, Sunday school is sponsoring 10 students as part of the Light to Life project of the Martha Church. We initiated that two years ago. And it cost $2,400 to sponsor 10 students in one year. So how God sometimes miraculously provides, that's what I want to bring, bring that up. Bring it, you know, like this year we didn't have, the, we, you know, it was impossible to have this student dedication. But God showed us some, you know, different way. We were thinking out of the box, and guess what? God provided $2,400 and, you know, some extra, you know, right around exactly what we need, God provided. That's my point. So our God do care. He does care, and he provides for our needs. So I thank all those parents for your commitment with the different ministries of our church. So the need is much greater here, right? We have this 5,000 men and much more women and children. So probably about 10,000 people in that crowd. So in the portion we read, we said, you yeah, know, here is this little boy with an insignificant amount of food supply. What can we do? How can we provide, met, meet the needs of these people? It's impossible, right? Let me tell you, my dear friends, God is not looking for huge abilities. Ability is important, but availability is essential. Are you willing to give your five loaves and two fish? What are you doing with your five loaves and two fish? You know, our society in this land is so privileged, so blessed. Materially, we have so much. We have working parents, we have loving families, we have plenty of food in the refrigerator. But let me tell you, there's, there are people in third world countries, they don't have food, they don't have homes, they don't have clothes, they have nothing. Just like this little boy, we can pitch in. We can start a coin collection or something like that in your own home. And we can bring those little loaves to help to make a difference. That's what this boy did. He was different from the rest of the people, the rest of the children. There were other children. But this one boy was different. And he did make a difference. Not only on that day, but for the last 2,000 years or so, this story was read so many times. It was studied. This is the only miracle that is mentioned in all four gospel. This is the only miracle. See how God can use the selfless giving of a little boy to bless a multitude. Well, sometimes you said, well, I don't, I'm not very blessed or I don't have too much talents. I don't have anything to give. I, I, I am not very skilled. That reminds me about the story of Ira Aids. He was a man who lived in the 1920s in West Texas. 
he owned this ranch business where, you know, they take care of the sheep. So the, you know, he had this ranching business and uh, times were getting tough. He didn't have enough money. The depression was just starting at that time. And he didn't have enough financial ability to pay even the mortgage. So he was living on subsidy. He was at the verge of bankruptcy when what, all of a sudden someone knocked at his door and said, sir, there might be oil in your property. And then they talked and, and a contract was signed. So they start digging these wells and the first well they dug 80,000 barrels of oil a day, 80,000 barrels a day. And that was only 1,100 feet deep. And it kept coming. It kept coming for years. Even 30 years later, the government did a study and they said there is possibility to 125,000 barrels a day supply from this, the, the mine they dug. Remember, this is the man who thought he was poor. He was living on government subsidy. Now he's a millionaire. My dear friends, often you and I think that we don't have much, but we are rich in Christ. In Philippians we read, my God shall supply all your needs according to the glorious riches in Christ Jesus. We are so privileged and we have so much. Sometimes we forget to count our blessings. We are called to make a difference, just like this boy. We can hold on to these five laws to ourselves, my dear friends. But let me tell you, that five laws and two fish that we are holding on will perish with us. But if we open our palms and if you open our hearts to the hands of the Lord, he will gladly accept those meager, insignificant offering that you and I are selflessly giving and he will bless multitude who are in need who are hungry who are starving so my challenge for our younger brothers and sisters can we take from what God has given and use it to bless others simple examples like you know when you go to school you're probably really good in a subject like math or something, and your friend might be struggling. You can take some time and tutor that person. You can encourage someone who's going through so much of anxiety and depression. You can pray for a friend who is in real distress. There's so many things we, you can, I, we can do. So many things. What are we doing with our five loaves and two fish, my dear friends? Just like this millionaire, the moment you and I come to Christ, we are blessed with the heavenly riches and he will provide for our needs. So remember to share, give, bless, help. That is the Sunday school ministry, reaching out into the crowd, into the multitude, and feed them, help them, bless them. If we are not doing that, we can keep on coming to this church year after year. We are not making any difference. The five loaves and the two fish, all those gifts, the spiritual gifts that God entrusted to you and me will perish with us. So, Availability is essential. We should be available for Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. And finally, you may think, well, what about this? You know, I am only in fifth grade or I'm only in seventh grade. I don't know much. I don't know what to do. Often, people despise small things, but God's economy is different. 
God starts with small things, simple, weak, insignificant people. That's what we see here. This boy was used mightily in the hand of the Lord. We can see throughout the Bible, there is a theme. The first miracle that we see in the wedding of Cana, what did Jesus use? Just ordinary water. And he used servants to draw that water. And he did the miracle. We see the story of David and Goliath. David was a small boy. Small, very small. Short in stature. But God used him and only one stone to defeat Goliath. God used only 300 soldiers, foolish soldiers, to defeat Midianites. He used Gideon and 300 soldiers. So many examples, my dear friends. So don't look down on yourself. You are blessed. You are so privileged because you are a child of God. I am a child of God. All of us are the children of God. God is calling you this Sunday morning to go out into the world, reach out to bless, to help, to serve, and make a difference. Let your life count for God, my dear friends. We will die one day, no matter what, whether it's cancer or COVID or accident, but we have to be accountable for the five loaves and the two fish that is given to us. Jesus felt compassion on these people because they were, they were like sheep without shepherd. They were starving. They were lonely. They were empty. Many of them made a mess out of their life. But Jesus saw them with a compassionate eye. So the challenge for everyone here and all those who are hearing this morning, my dear friends, what can we do to make a small change? How can we be different in this COVID season to reach out and to bless our fellow brothers and sisters? There's a greater lesson Jesus is teaching. It's not just the physical food. Later on in this chapter, we read about the true hunger of every human being. What is it? The inner man needs to be nourished, not with the food, the loaves and the fish, but with the manna from heaven, Jesus Christ. We need to be fed on Jesus and his word. That is the greater theme. But often, even though I challenge you to reach out to many people, you may say, I don't have anything to give. I'm so dry. I'm so empty. What, what did the disciples do, did when their baskets were empty? They came back to Jesus for more bread so that they can keep serving, first serving, second serving, third serving. So anytime when you and I are feeling dry and empty and don't have anything to bless others? What is our calling? Come back to the word of God. Come back to Jesus and receive more and distribute to the people out there who are in need, who are hungry for love, for peace, for life. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. So this morning, my prayer and my humble request for all of us is to feed on Christ. Once again, this world is not conducive, my dear friends, for our inner spiritual growth. It will give us a lot for our physical needs, but we don't want our inner man to be weak. We want to be strong in the Lord. So may the Almighty God Help us this Sunday morning as we celebrate the World Sunday School Day to be his hands and feet in this world that he's placed us. And just like this boy, or just like Andrew, you know, Andrew followed Christ, then Andrew brought this boy, and the boy became a blessing in the hand of the Lord. Same thing. We had to do our part to bring others to Christ and be a blessing to the people around us. May God bless us all. Thank you.
Okay, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning and allowing us to be able to come to church. Thank you for us being able to even join on Zoom and to still listen to your word. I thank you for Saji Uncle and thank you for allowing us to hear his word today. And I pray for World Sunday School Day, God. I thank you that you've allowed us to be able to join together and worship for you. I thank you for Uchin. I thank you for the leaders, the teachers, our parents, everyone who is here to guide us and lead us to be more like you every day. God, I pray that you will continue to give them the wisdom they need to lead us and help us. I pray for those who are affected by COVID, God. Please help them and their families to turn to you in this time. Please help us all to stay safe and stay healthy. I pray that you will also help as the world is going through civil unrest. I pray that you will help everyone, help justice to be served and everyone to get what they need. I pray for the upcoming election. Please help the leader that can lead America the way you want it to be led. Please help use them to lead the country the way you want them to. I thank you so much for loving us all and forgiving us for all our sins. I pray that you will help us to be selfless like the boy who gave his bread and the fish. Please help us to always strive to be selfless and to help others. I pray that you will continue to help us to be more and more like you every single day and help us to make a difference in this world. We love you and we praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Those who come prepared for the Holy Communion, please stand and repeat the prayer of confession after me. I confess that I have sinned against you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in thought, word, and deed. I am sorry with all my heart for these my sins. I believe in your promise that you will receive all those who, who truly repent. O Lord, who is merciful and full of grace, accept me even as you accept the publican, the woman who was a sinner, and the thief on the cross. Comfort me with the consolation of your word. O Lord, grant that your holy body and holy blood, in which I now partake, may redeem me from judgment and condemnation, and bring me to life and wholeness. Amen. Malayalatil Ulla Kumbasar Dara Prathana and Devanali to Varaya Sarva Shakti Ulla Baba Dambrani Nanaka Virothamayu Logate Rishipanai Tandakrabayal Vishuddha Kani Mariam in the Jenicha Yangalkove in the Kastata and Vicha Maricha Yangalka Rachan Aligamashia Dambrani Nenaka without Mayim, Sagalate MG Pick in the Minim, Ashu the Pacha Shudigirik in the Maya, Parishudan Mava and Dambrani, Nenaka without the Mayim, Yanche the Boya, Sagalapa Mangleim, Eight Parana, Sangatapurno, Satima, Yanaka the Rake, Aikulmana, Nijerikna Wagdan and Janvishusicha, Salatelum Pedachu in the Native Rainu, Vijaratelum, Vajanatelum. Pravartilum, Yan Perichu, then the Galpana Lam, then Lenkichu, then the Sitcheke, Patrama Gim Chidrikinu, Karnivanum, Krabandarjanamai Kartave, Chungaka name, Apavinia is three, Kurishilvacha Kalanim, Kaikonda Bragarum, a name Kaikonda, then the Thiruvatana Tanapal, and a ashes of Picanami, Kartave, Yananabavikina, Thirishirum Thirrectum. In case you shall within good to the mighty Rade, Jewin and the Chekimaki Turkaname, Amen. May the God Almighty be compassionate to all of you who have truly confessed your sins 
God has freely forgiven your sins to make you worthy to partake in the Holy Communion. Amen. Dearly beloved, pray with me that this service may be acceptable to the Lord. Lord, we humbly knock at your door. We come into your house and we pray for your blessings. Sanctify servants by your truth. O Lord, hear and answer the prayers of your people. You have promised that where two or three are gathered in your name, you will be in our midst. We pray that you send us the gift of your Holy Spirit to make his dwelling in us, your people, as he dwell in the apostles. O God and Lord of all, make us worthy to greet one another with the kiss of peace, freed from all insincerity and united in love, to your Father, to your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, we give you praise and glory, now and forever. So with you, in the love of our Lord God, let us greet one another in peace. May, May the, the love, love and peace, peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. Brothers and sisters, having received this holy and divine peace, let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. Gracious Lord, we bow before you. Merciful Father, you dwell on high yet condescend to look upon things that are lowly. Bless now those who have bowed their heart in your presence with the grace of your Holy Son, with whom and with the Holy Spirit you accept all praise and glory now and forever. Brothers and sisters, let us participate in the ho this holy krabana, which is now offered to us with commitment, reverence, humility, purity of heart, love, true faith, and devotion to God the Father, to whom all things belong, is offered this sacrifice of grace, peace, and praise in the spirit of unity and concord. The love of God the Father, the grace of the Lord, begotten Son, the love and come back that the love and co communion and um, abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with you all, dearly beloved, forever. And also with you. May your hearts be with Christ on high. Truly are with the Lord to sing praises and worship the Creator of all things. Surely is good and right. Who is adored by the heavenly host, sun and moon, and all stars, the earth and seas, and all that dwell there, angels and archangels, thrones and powers, cherubim and seraphim, ever proclaiming. Holy, 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 holy is Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of His glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is He who has come, and is to come again in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When the sinless one of His own will choose to suffer death for our sinners, He took bread in His holy hand. Bless the Lord. He gave thanks. Blessed. 
sanctified and broke it and gave it to his apostle saying take it this is my body given for you do this in remembrance of me amen in the same manner he to the cup bless the lord he gave thanks bless the sanctified and give it to a apostle saying drink this all of you this is my blood of new covenant which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins amen thus as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death until he come Oh Lord we remember your death we celebrate your resurrection and we await your second coming may your blessing rest upon us all Oh Lord as we remember your death burial resurrection ascension and look forward to your second coming to judge the world in righteousness and truth we offer this service and sacrifice entreating you not to deal with us according to our sins but according to your own abundant mercy and saying have mercy upon us o lord our god we give thanks to you we praise you we glorify you and we worship you o source of all goodness have mercy on us and bless us answer unto us o lord answer unto us o lord Answer unto us, O Lord, by your grace, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Holy Spirit sanctify this bread, that it may be body of our Lord Jesus Christ. sanctify the wine in this chalice that it may be the blood of our lord jesus christ amen o lord sanctify the bodies and souls of those who receive this gift that they may bear fruit for the stability of your holy church establish our family your holy church founded on the rock of faith again shall which the gates of hell shall not prevail and preserve her to the end from strife and error to you with the son and the holy spirit we offer praise and thanksgiving both now and forever amen look with mercy o lord on your holy church throughout the world on all the bishops who bear the burden of leading and guiding her especially our father in the william metropolitan the moderators of csi and cni archbishops of the anglican communion our diocesan episcopa our bishops priests deacons evangelists faithful members of our church and seekers of the faith Lord we remember all who exercise authority in various countries especially in this country give to each one your holy spirit that they may diligently work in your vineyard Lord our mercy Lord we remember the mother of our lord the blessed virgin mary the holy apostles the prophets the preachers the evangelists the martyrs the conversers and all the saints Lord we remember the three councils of Nicaea Constantinople and Ephesus and all the holy fathers who participated in them make us worthy to follow in their footsteps Lord we also remember all the faithful who are departed and fallen asleep in the true faith grant that we also may with them be counted worthy for the remission of our sins and be gathered into your heavenly kingdom Lord have mercy Lord we thank you for the beautiful universe you have created and the life and the possibilities of it 
Forgive us, O Lord, for we have distorted the universe for our greed and selfishness. Help us, O Lord, to be good and faithful stewards in the fulfillment of your will. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The grace and blessings of our God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all, dearly beloved, forever. And with you also. Brothers and sisters, we must pray to the Lord always for reconciliation and peace and for his blessings and mercy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord for unity in the church and harmony between all people and communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for peace in our families and grace in our hearts that we may be strengthened in faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for recovery of health for the sick, comfort for the distressed, deliverance for prisoners, safety for travelers, unity and love for those who are estranged. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us give glory to God the Father, Lord of all, worship his only begotten Son, and praise his holy and life-giving Spirit. O Lord of all blessings, we commit our lives into your keeping and pray for your blessings. Gracious God, have mercy on us and bless us. Let's spend some time for intercessory prayer. Number for Sunday, Namakurimicha, they were sent to the Lari Pan, they were Sahaikina, they were regarded, they were in a stotram chia. But over certain day, I was on our singers, the Masanga Lake and the Madatuverino. You were certain day, Bukuburi was a Masanga Lom with a pandemic in an alu and a Madakar on the Bogono. They were the Devil, Yakaradilum, Karnagal Moka, Dorundum Dawa and Katawe, Sahaikana, and the Namka Devu Tota Pathia. Ivelia, Yoga than day, Butumutugal Kathawe, Lautuna, Matapaduanum Sandra Thorda, Jivikuan, La Sathagrim, Sahajang Limaka, Rikanami, and Namgadeva Thorda Partiga Kothacha, Namladi was taken a right to read a Partiga, now more third in a relation lake a capon, the low, the analog located in the Palapo Sager, the election process to look another. The citizens, Irigina, Horovitigalgum, the Tangal Day, responsibility of Hagavana in the La Bodhi Dodu Woody, Kakatala, Algle, Trinja de Kuanaita, Election Day, like a Voti Yuanum. Okay, I love every other prayer pick and a name. They were the Pragadam, they were the Ne, Fidatan and Sidicha, Algal Trinja Kapuwa. They were made in the Sahai Ganame, and they were thought of Pratica. The Mladu Sigin, the Phil Fia Megalagal, the Visil, which are a Prathiki in Alu Loke, Palavodamaya, Prusan Digal, Vilibrias and Ludeke, I Pradeshang Lakarnovo, the Vigamaya, Samathanum, the Eva Grupi, the Vilia Karnim, and Larry Manipan, I to the Brane, the Sahai Gramme, and the Namkadi with other Prathiki. Number Thomas Sabaki, and the Pratea Mabichik. To thy you kept an abbey and the other two remaining queen of Prathica, meet with the Nava, the Matomai. I wish I am Jay Pudumbol, a color to the Nanisitia, Sabhe, and Earth of Guruqua. Be the remaining out of the Bella Pratame, Shakti, Rikame, and the Namka, they were taught of Prathica. But the latter remaining Mare, the Makorka, and the Bazaras and the Remini Prathica. But the Masanda School Samai, they were sent Lil Pachana Prathica. Sunday School and the Buddha, the last social in the Makorka. The Sunday remaining. Secretary Chen, Mata Chamalakar, Mata Brother, Elabri, the Makorka, the Made, Dogale, Sunday School, and Wendy, the Makurti, Gama Bichi, and let teachers in Wendy, and let students in Wendy, Prathik. In the day, we were Hagishan, the Prepeta, Sajan, Wendy, Prathi, Prathikam, Sunday School, now Shaman, and Grihama, and the Uthan, the Dunum, Prithas, and Lord, Elipi, my Tiruan, Kathaway, and the Uthan Sahai Kaname, and the Prathik. Kata, the Uvadram. Here there is some Brepa, the Kunam Sahai Kaname, and the Prathikam. Yamada, I will put in the family members in the Vindy, the Moka Pratikam, Pradeche in Algoloke, Rogat and the Brias, and the Katanabogunur, the Makorka, the Eva Mavra, or Rotrim, Audana, Saukin, Nalganame, Samathan and Nalganame, and the Moka Pratikam, 
പലവിധമായ ആവശ്യങ്ങളുടെയും ഭാരങ്ങളുടെയും കടന്നു പോകുന്ന എല്ലാവരെയോടും അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഈ ആഴ്ച നടത്തപ്പെടുന്ന നമ്മുടെ കൺവെൻഷൻ യോഗങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രത്യേകം അപേക്ഷിക്കാം ഏറ്റവും ഭംഗിയായി നമ്മുടെ കൺവെൻഷൻ യോഗങ്ങൾ നടത്തപ്പെടുവാൻ തക്കൊണ്ട് ദൈവം സഹായിക്കണം കടന്നു പോകുന്ന വരുന്ന ദൈവദാസന്മാർ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവ് ഈ കാലഘട്ടത്തിനനുസരിച്ച് അനുഗ്രഹീതമായ ദൈവദൂത് നൽകുവാനായിട്ട് അവർ ഓരോരുത്തരെ ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് ബലപ്പെടുത്തണമേ ശക്തീകരിക്കണമേ എന്ന് നമുക്ക് ദൈവത്തോടെ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം നമ്മുടെ ഓരോരുത്തരുടെയും വ്യക്തിപരമായ ആവശ്യങ്ങളെയൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് ദൈവസ്ഥലം ഏൽപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം നമ്മുടെ സകല ആവശ്യങ്ങളും ഒരു നിമിഷം നമുക്ക് മൗനമായ ദൈവസ്ഥലത്തിൽ ഏൽപ്പിക്കാം In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, make perfect the offering and oblations presented before you. Sanctify our bodies, souls and spirit, so that with a pure and confident heart, we may address you as God and Father and pray, Our Father in heaven. Hallelujah, Amen. your name. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the time of trial, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the grace, mercy, and blessing of the holy and glorious Trinity uncreated self existent eternal adorable and one in essence be with you all dearly beloved forever and also with you o holy and glorious trinity have mercy upon us holy things for holy people Holy is the one Father, holy is the one Son, holy is the one Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it from the beginning, forever and ever. Amen. The one Holy Father, who created the world in His mercy, is with us. Amen. The one Holy Son, who saved it by his precious passion is with us amen the one living holy spirit who makes perfect and fulfill all that is and that was been is with us may the name of our lord be blessed as in the beginning both now and forever Lord, 
nights are days are like grass. We bloom like the flowers of the field. Bless us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. O Lord, at your death, at your command, death held this way. You abolish death through your resurrection from the dead. Therefore, we praise and exalt you. O Lord, every mouth shall sing your praise. O Lord, who gathers up the children of Adam from everywhere, bless us and help us. O Son of God, your death has changed our death into life. Raise us from the dust so that we may ever praise you. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, is worthy of glory and worship forever, from beginning, from generation to generation. May he be praised. Hallelujah. O Son of God, who came for our salvation and will come again for our resurrection and for the renewal of our race, grant we pray forgiveness of sins to your servants through your own atoning sacrifice. Amen. O oh Lord God, graciously bless these your children who partake of your most precious body and blood, which was given to Calvary for the forgiveness of sins, that may be, may abide in your presence forever. Amen. The blessings of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, beyond those who bear these sacred, sacred mysteries, or those who dispense them, and on those who receive them, and on all who have participated and who shall participate in them, the grace of God be on us all, both now and forever. Lord, have mercy and bless us. Glory and praise be to you, our Lord and everlasting refuge. The holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, broken and shed on Calvary for the forgiveness of sins, are given to you for the health of your body and soul. Amen. Amen.
And blood, which he have partaken be not for our condemnation, but for life and salvation to us all. O oh God, guard us your blessing. All the earth shall bow down before you, 
and every tongue shall praise your holy name. For you give life to the dead, and you are the hope of all lie in the grave. We praise you, O Lord, and give you thanks for your mercy towards us. The holy praise be to you. We praise you, O Lord, because in your abundant mercy, you have for done such a us with the precious body and blood of our Son, of our Savior Jesus Christ. And you have thereby made us one with him and with all the members of his mystical body. We pray you to give us grace and continue in the holy fellowship and ever to offer glory and praise to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord Almighty. You are God, the Creator. Show to us ever the way of salvation. Accept the praise and finish to us, your people, and pardon our offenses. Enable us to receive your gifts and blessings, and send us with your peace. My beloved brothers and sisters, I command you to the grace and blessing of the Holy Glorious Trinity. Go now in peace and serve the Lord with the gift and blessings that you have received from the atoning sacrifice of the Lord. Amen. You both near and far who are saved by the victorious cross of the Lord and sealed with the seal of the holy baptism, this holy trinity will forgive you your sins and comfort your soul. Amen. Pray for me, my brothers and sisters, weak and sinful as I am, that I may obtain mercy and help Go in peace, filled with gladness and rejoicing. May the Lord accept your ministration and help us by our prayers. Amen. Please be seated. No announcements by secretary. Good afternoon. Well, it doesn't school day I celebrate in the other sum. Three months under students' name, parents' name, teachers' name. He wishes the group on a kind of a lesson to show how they may are eager to. No, the students are ready. Teachers are in the room. Parents are ready. Can they fair to go? Could they all develop in the chain? They're like carrying along. Protege them. Up in the near one. Say, Jan. He will send a school day. நம்மிடப்பாளிகளில் Apabila anda doktor Joseph Martha memerlukan perhatian terima dari dalam circular number 371 program arah ini serikat dengan insurans. Pelbagai jenis yang ada di sana adalah untuk tujuan yang lebih baik. Lockdown ini adalah kerana ia adalah untuk tujuan yang lebih baik. Nilai COVID-19 protokol sama dengan circular. Kerajaan dan pemerintah kerajaan telah mengambil langkah untuk mengurangkan kesan yang tidak diharapkan. Adalah pelbagai jenis yang ada di sana adalah untuk tujuan yang lebih baik. Adalah pelbagai jenis yang ada di sana adalah untuk tujuan yang lebih baik. Adalah pelbagai jenis yang ada di sana adalah untuk tujuan yang lebih baik. Adalah pelbagai jenis yang ada di sana adalah untuk tujuan பல்லிகளுடை வீஞ்சு சுசியாக்கி வீண்டு உப்பியோகிக்கத்தைக் குதவுள்ளாத் சரிய கலாஸ் குப்பிகளும் ஒரு ஒரு திருக்கம் நல்காவுந்துதான். 
അഭ്യന്തര ഡോക്ടർ ജോസഫ് മാർത്തോമ മെത്രോ പൊരുത്ത തിരുമേനിയുടെ മുന്നൂറ്റി അറുപത്താറാം നമ്പർ സർക്കുലർ പ്രകാരം പട്ടക്കാരുടെയും മറ്റ് ജീവനക്കാരുടെയും ശമ്പളത്തിൽ നിശ്ചയിച്ച വിഹിതം ലോക്ക്ഡൌൺ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ കുറവ് വരുത്തിയിരുന്നുവല്ലോ ആയത് രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത് ഒക്ടോബർ ഇരു മുപ്പത്തിയൊന്ന് വരെ പ്രാബല്യത്തിലായിരിക്കുന്നതും രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത് നവംബർ ഒന്ന് മുതൽ ശമ്പളവും മറ്റ് അലവൻസുകളും പൂർണ്ണമായും നൽകേണ്ടതുമാണ് ലോക്ക്ഡൌൺ കാലത്ത് കുറവ് വരുന്ന ശമ്പള വിഹിതം കഴിവതും രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിയൊന്ന് മാർച്ച് മുപ്പത്തിന് മുമ്പ് നൽകണമെന്ന് നൽകുന്നത് അവലക്ഷണീയമാണ് ലോകമെമ്പാടും കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ മൂലം ഉളവായിരിക്കുന്ന പ്രതിസന്ധികൾ തക്കതായ വാക്സിൻ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കുന്നതിനും എത്രയും വേഗം ആരോഗ്യകരമായ അവസ്ഥ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നതിനും സർവശക്തനായ കർത്താവ് സഹായിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം കർത്താവ് യേശു മശുവായുടെ കൃപയും സമാധാനവും എല്ലാവരുടെയും കൂടെ ഇരിക്കുമാറാകട്ടെ എന്ന് തിരുവല്ല പുലാത്തിനിൽ നിന്നും ക്രിസ്താബ്ദം രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത് ഒക്ടോബർ മാസം ഇരുപത്തി ഒമ്പതാം തീയതി ഡോക്ടർ ഗീവർഗീസ് മാർത്തിയോട് വിശ്വ സഫ്രകൻ മെത്രാപോലത്ത സർക്കിൾ നമ്പർ ടു ഡിയർലി ബിലോൺ ഇൻ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് വി ആർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസിംഗ് ആൻഡ് അൺഫോർസിംഗ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഡ്യൂ ടു ദ കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഓഫ് കണ്ടക്ടിംഗ് ദ ജനറൽ ബോഡി മീറ്റിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദ പാരീഷ് ആൻഡ് കോൺഗ്രിഗേഷൻ ഈസ് റൈസ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് അപ്രോപ്രിയേറ്റ് ടു ഹാവ് സം ഡയറക്ഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് മാറ്റർ ദ ആനുവൽ ജനറൽ ബോഡി മീറ്റിംഗ് ഓഫ് ഫോർ ദ പാസിംഗ് ഓഫ് റിപ്പോർട്ട് അക്കൗണ്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ബഡ്ജറ്റ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ജനറൽ ബോഡി മീറ്റിംഗ് ഫോർ ദ ഇലക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഓഫീസ് ബേറേസ് ആൻഡ് എക്സിക്യൂട്ടീവ് കമ്മിറ്റി മെമ്പേഴ്സ് may be conducted either through in person general body meeting of if possible or through online via zoom or webex platform therefore the following instructions are given to the parishes and congregations for the better conduct of the general body meeting one for the election of the office bearers and executive committee members for the next financial year the vigar is authorized to prepare maintain and publish the list of members of the edavas sangam on the notice board in accordance with the church constitution two if an in person general body meeting is not feasible due to the pandemic it may be convinced online via zoom or webex platform to transact the agenda as per the decision of the executive committee election of the office bearers and executive committee members for the next financial year may be conducted during the in person general body meeting wherever possible and if not feasible election may be conducted by inviting nominations in accordance with the election procedures mentioned in the clause number 232 to 251 of the church constitution 3 the notice of election should be announced in the parish on two consecutive sundays after the service and the same should be also published in the notice board of the parish and also through ele- electronic media containing the information about the last day time and place for the submission of the nomination paper scrutiny withdrawal and the time date place of the voting and counting of votes etc 4 the duly published edavamission edavas sangam list for the year 2020 shall be the voters list for the above election all persons who named appeared in the edavas sangam register shall be eligible to conduct the election propose and second candidates and what in the election 5 all parishes and congregation should follow the protocol of the respective state city or town and arrange for the general body meeting voting procedure accordingly may the god give you grace to have peaceful and spirit filled christian life you were in his service right reverend dr isaac mar felix nos diocesan episcopa kalpana number 3 Dearly beloved in Christ, considering the present situation, Episcopal Synod has decided that diocesan assembly may be conducted through online platform and election to the diocesan council may be conducted in person or through personal or postal ballot. Therefore, the diocesan council it is meeting held on October 16, 2020 has resolved to conduct the diocesan assembly of the Diocese of North America and Europe or the Martha Mar Church at 10 a.m. on Saturday, December 12, 2020 at the Carmel Martha Mar Center and also make it available via Zoom for the members who cannot attend in person. The election of the Diocese Council will be also conducted through the postal ballot as well as in the person voting on December 12, 2020 from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Rev. Dr. Philip Varghese and Rev. Sakriya Varghese will assist the Diocese Bishop in conducting the election. further information regarding the procedure of the election will be sent by the diocesan secretary 
May the Lord strengthen all of us to work together to his kingdom. Yours in his service, Right Reverend Dr. Isambar Felix in his diocesan episcopa. Kalpan number four. Dearly beloved in Christ, COVID-19 pandemic has changed our life. There is a new normal which is continuing to evolve day by day. We all have to adapt to this new way of life. The pandemic has made us recognize the things we take in care granted and to re reconceive how we go about the practices of our daily lives. As we continue to na navigate to our through this unpredictable time and deal with extraordinary challenges, let us pray and work for the peace and healing. May our fear and anxieties be overcome by his divine grace. During the pandemic, the Diocese of North America and Europe, through the Marthoma Mission Board, which is a registered tax exempted organization under the Section 501 of the Internal Revenue Code, could engage meaningfully in the mission ac activities within the country and inside the country and outside, with the vision to witness Jesus Christ and participate the God in transforming the lives of the people who work together with our mission centers in helping our beneficiaries receive support, guidance in combating the spread of viruses. We have been working to slow down the spread of COVID-19 by creating awareness, equipping families with the knowledge, providing sanitizers, soap, suppliers, they need to practice proper hygiene. Light to the beneficiary children of their families, those life, life squad, have been affected by COVID-19 were provided with the nursery school supplies. Food provisions kit were provided so that none of the light to life children will be hungry during these days. The diocese also partnered with the mission program or the Episcopal Church in Navaja land and, and contributed to the purchase of for cleaning supplies. We could also provide 100 water pumps or the Native Americans in Navaja land so they can be afforded to have clean drinking water. The mission board also provided education scholarship to 13 college students in Navajo, Alabama, and Oklahoma. The diocese has set apart Sunday, November 8, 2020, for the prayer and participating in the mission program through Suvishesha Nidhi offering. We urge all the members to wholeheartedly contribute to the mission activities of the diocese. It is with the command, the committed vision, and dedication service of our laity and clergy that all our mission activities are processing or progressing. The Vigar office bearers and assembly members are requested to make necessary arrangements and encourage the parishioners to donate generously for the mission activities through Suvishesha Nidhi. I thank you all for participating meaningfully in all mission activities and helping in the growth of the diocese through your talent, support, and prayers. Let us recall the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. May the Spirit of the God continue to guide us in all mission endeavors and make it for the glory of the God and well-being of humanity. With the prayers and blessings, right on Dr. Isaac Parapilix Felix Ross, Diocesan Episcopa. Regular activities. Next Sunday, we will be having a Malayalam Holy Communion service at 10.30 a.m. Reverend Anish Thomas Thomas will lead this service. Inviting families of account numbers 1 to 75 to attend the Holy Communion service on coming Sunday. Online sign-up will open today evening. Deadline to submit your registration on Friday, November 6. In the icon, the sign-up formula, Adatha Nyaraj Sakula sign-up, Adodapam. Randamadhiru form, Namada Yverana Convention, Namada Christos Convention, five six seven, Nadakan the Convention, the registration goody, and Arthur Patitunda. I want to email Pertium Sodigia, Ningal Talperibana the Usum, a sign up form will Pertium Noti and Pertium Sodigia in Chia. Salem North Prayer Group will be assisting with the lesson reading. Today, November first, it is mission prayer through Zoom conference call. Tuesday prayer at six thirty PM through conference call. Wednesday fasting prayer at nine thirty AM through conference call. Friday at 7 p.m., Youth Fellowship in-person meeting at church. Saturday at 10 a.m., Savia Singham meeting through conference call. Saturday at 6.30 p.m., Common Prayer through Zoom conference call. 
జనరల్ అనౌన్స్మెంట్స్ ఎంటీవీఏ మండే ప్రేయర్ మంత్లీ ప్రేయర్ మీటింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఎంటీవీఏ డయాసిస్ ఆఫ్ నార్త్ అమెరికా అండ్ యూరోప్ విల్ బీ హెల్డ్ ఆన్ మండే నవంబర్ సెకండ్ అట్ ఎయిట్ థర్టీ పిఎం బై సూమ్ మెసేజ్ రెవరెండ్ మాథ్యూ జోసఫ్ సెయింట్ పాల్స్ ఎంటీసీ డాలర్స్ రిక్వెస్టింగ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూర్ ప్రేఫర్ పార్టిసిపేషన్ సామ్ అలెక్ సెక్రటరీ ఇదిండే కాన్ఫరెన్స్ అండ్ డైరింగ్ డీటెయిల్స్ అవైలబుల్ ആണ് ആരാധനക്ക് ശേഷം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇമെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് അയച്ചു തരുന്നതാണ് സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ കൗൺസിൽ അനൗൺസ്മെന്റ് ദിസ് ഇയർ വി വിൽ ബി ഒബ്സർവിംഗ് വേൾഡ് സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ ഡേ ഓൺ സൺഡേ നവംബർ 1 2020 ലേണിംഗ് ആൻഡ് നർച്ചറിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫേത്ത് ആൻഡ് പ്രാക്ടീസ് ഓൾ ദ സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ ആർ എൻകറേജ് ടു ടേക്ക് ലീഡ് ഓഫ് ദ വർഷിപ്പ് സർവീസ് അറ്റ് ദ റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് ചർച്ചസ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ദ കോവിഡ് 19 പാൻഡമിക് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ വേൾഡ് സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ ഡേ ഓഫറിംഗ് എൻവലപ്പ് വിൽ നോട്ട് ബി മെയിൽഡ് ഔട്ട് ടു ദിസ് ഇയർ All Sunday schools are requested to send donations payable to Martha Mas Sunday schools. The fund collected will be completely utilized for Kids to Kids project. Please email the check and attention of the Diocese Sunday School Treasurer, Mr. George Sam. Your kind and general support is very much appreciated. Julie Alex, Secretary, Martha Mas Sunday Schools. 24th Diocese Leadership Conference. For the past two decades, the Diocese Leadership Conference has served as a platform for the spiritual growth of the youth of the Diocese and has been instrumental in emphasizing the Christian principles and discipleship, servanthood and leadership. The 24th session of the Diocese Leadership Conference will be hosted by Diocese Youth Fellowship and will be placed virtually from Friday, January 8th to Saturday, January 9th, 2021. Our diocesan bishop, along with the youth chaplains, clergy and lay leaders, will serve as the main leaders for this conference. The theme for the conference is Restored to Restore, based on Jeremiah 15 verses 19a. Therefore, this is what the Lord says, If you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me. The Diocese Youth Fellowship Council cordially invite youths who are actively involved in their home parishes and community to register and attend the conference. All parish vigas are humbly request to encourage three to five youth members to attend from each of your respective parishes or congregations. Please note that registration fee will not be collected for this conference, this year conference. The registration process will include two steps, application form and official registration form. Only those who are meet prescribed requirement of the application process will be offered to opportunity for the official registration. In addition to, to all, all delegates must be received appro- approval and recommendation of their respective parish regard to attend. The following track will be offered during this conference along with other engaging worships and sessions. Cultural and char- Christianity, Human Sexuality, Neighborhood Ministry, Hermeneutics and Homiletics. Registration will begin on Sunday, October 1st. 1st, 2020 and will open until Monday, November 30th, 2020. For more details, please visit conference website teammartho.com. We look forward to meeting you all on January 2021. Please keep this conference in your prayers. May God all, Almighty continue and strengthen and sustain us. Christopher Phil Daniel, DYF Vice President, Mr. Jeevan Varghese, DYF Secretary. Christos. For special thanks for the Arias Lord. In the Arias Lord, we will be able to get the Arias Lord. We will be able to get the Arias Lord. We will be able to get the Arias Lord. We will be able to get the Arias Lord. We will be able to get the Arias Lord. സ്വയസ്ഥമായ കഴിവിൽ നിർബന്ധി നിർമ്മിച്ച് നമുക്ക് ജെയിംസ് വർഗീസ് അക്കൗണ്ട് നമ്പർ വൺ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫിഫ്റ്റി എയ്റ്റ് മനോഹരമായ ഒരു പോഡിയം ദേവാലയത്തിന് സമർപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കുകയാണ് ജെയിംസ് സർവീസിനോടും കുടുംബത്തിനോടുമുള്ള ഇടവകയുടെ നന്ദി ആദ്യമേ അറിയിക്കട്ടെ അദ്ദേഹത്തെയും അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ സ്വയസ്ഥമായ കഴിവുകളെയും ഇടവയും സമൂഹവും ദേശത്തിനും ഇനിയും പ്രയോജനമുള്ളതായി തീരുമാൻ സർവേശനം കൂടുതലായി അദ്ദേഹത്തെ ഉപയോഗിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു ജെയിംസ് ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ ആരാധന സംബന്ധിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ വരു വന്നിട്ടുള്ള ആളുകൾക്ക് അദ്ദേഹത്തെ അറിയത്തില്ലെങ്കിൽ പരിചയപ്പെടാവുന്ന എഴുന്നേറ്റ് തന്നാൽ താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച് നമുക്ക് ഇടവകയിൽ ഏതാണ്ട് അദ്ദേഹം ഇപ്പം നിർമ്മിച്ച് നൽകുന്നത് ഏഴാമത്തെ ഐറ്റമാണ് സ്വന്തം കഴിവുകളിൽ ദൈവം നമ്പരാൻ നൽകിയ കഴിവ് പ്രത്യേകം വേർതിരിച്ച് 
ഇടവകയുടെ ആവശ്യത്തിന് വേണ്ടി നൽകുന്നു ആ കുടുംബത്തെ പ്രത്യേകം നന്ദിയോടെ ഓർക്കുന്നു താങ്ക് യു ക്രിസ്മസ് കൺവെൻഷൻ ക്രിസ്മസ് കൺവെൻഷൻ സ്കെഡ്യൂൾ ടു ബി ഹാൽഡ് ഓൺ നവംബർ ഫൈവ് സിക്സ് സെവൻ റവറൻ സാം ടി മാത്യു ടീനക് മാർത്തോമ ചാർജ് റവറൻ സജു ചാക്കോ ബേദൽ മാർത്തോമ ചാർജ് റവറൻ ജിനു എബ്രഹാം ഫിലഡൽഫിയ മാർത്തോമ ചാർജ് ആർ ദ മെയിൻ സ്പീക്കേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ദിസ് ഇയർ കൺവെൻഷൻ യുവർ പേർഫുൾ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേഷൻ ഇസ് റിക്വസ്റ്റഡ് ഫോമുകൾ ഇന്ന് വൈകിട്ട് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഇമെയിലായിട്ട് അയച്ചു തരുന്നതാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇൻപേഴ്സണായിട്ട് താല്പര്യപ്പെടുന്നവർ അത് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്യണമെന്നുള്ള കാര്യം പ്രത്യേകം സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർമ്മിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ ന്യൂ ബോൺ അബിഗേൽ ആൻഡ് തോമസ് ഡോക്ടർ ഓഫ് മിസ്റ്റർ ലിബിൻ പി തോമസ് ആൻഡ് മിസ്സസ് സേഗൽ സാറ യോഹന്നാൻ ബോൺ യെസ്റ്റർഡേ അറ്റ് എയ്റ്റ് പി എം മദർ ആൻഡ് ചൈൽഡ് ആർ കീപ്പിംഗ് ഗുഡ് കൺഗ്രാലേഷൻ ലിബിൻ ആൻഡ് സേഗൽ ആൻഡ് ഗോൾഡ് കണ്ടിന്യൂ ടു ബ്ലസ് യുവർ എക്സ്പാൻഡ് ഫാമിലി ഇത്രയുമാണ് നമുക്ക് ഈ ആഴ്ചയിലുള്ള അനൗൺസ്മെൻറ്റുകൾ എല്ലാവർക്കും അനുഗ്രഹത്തിൻ്റെ ഒരു പുതിയ മാസം നേരുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു താങ്ക് യു ഇന്ന് വേൾഡ് സന്ന സ്കൂൾ ഡേ ആയിട്ട് സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുവാനായിട്ട് ദൈവം സഹായിച്ച ദൈവർപ്പയ്ക്കായിട്ട് സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു പരിമിതമായ സാഹചര്യമാണ് എന്നാൽ ഇന്ന് ആരാധനയിൽ തല പലതരങ്ങളിൽ സഹായിക്കുന്ന കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾക്കും ടീച്ചേഴ്സിനുമൊക്കെ ദേവാലയത്തിൽ കടന്നു വന്ന് ആരാധനയിൽ സംബന്ധിപ്പാൻ ദൈവം സഹായിച്ചല്ലോ സന്ന സ്കൂൾ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളെ ഓർത്ത് പ്രത്യേകം പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം ഇന്ന് നേതൃത്വം കൊടുത്ത എല്ലാവരോടുള്ള പ്രത്യേകമായ നന്ദിയും സ്നേഹവും അറിയിക്കുന്നു ഞാൻ ഇപ്പോൾ പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ അവിടെ നിന്ന് തുടങ്ങട്ടെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട ജെയിംസ് വർഗീസ് അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ കഴിവുകൾ ദൈവം നമ്പരാൻ നൽകിയതനുസരിച്ച് ഓരോ സ്വയം പണം മുടക്കി ഈ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ നിർമ്മിച്ച് നമ്മുടെ ദേവാലയത്തിൽ നൽകുന്നു അദ്ദേഹം ഇപ്പോൾ നൽകിയ എൻ്റെ ഏഴാമത്തെ ഐറ്റമാണ് ചെറുതും വലുതുമായ പല കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മുടെ ഇടവകയുടെ ആവശ്യമനുസരിച്ച് നമ്മൾ ആവശ്യപ്പെടുന്നതിനേക്കാൾ മുമ്പ് ഇങ്ങോട്ട് പറഞ്ഞ് അത് ചെയ്യുന്നു അദ്ദേഹത്തോടും കുടുംബത്തോടുള്ള പ്രത്യേക നന്ദി ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം കൂടി അറിയിക്കുകയാണ് നമ്മുടെ നമുക്കൊരു ക്ലോക്ക് നമുക്ക് ആവശ്യമായിരുന്നു പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട സുമോദ് ആൻഡ് ഫാമിലി നമുക്കൊരു ക്ലോക്ക് ഇടവയ്ക്ക് വേണ്ടി ദേവാലയത്തിൽ ഇടുവാനായിട്ട് നൽകി പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട സുമോദിനോടും കുടുംബത്തിനുള്ള പ്രത്യേകമായിട്ടുള്ള നന്ദി പ്രത്യേകമായിട്ട് അറിയിക്കുന്നു താങ്ക് യു സുമോദ് ആൻഡ് ഫാമിലി അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ കൺവെൻഷൻ ഈ ആഴ്ച നടക്കുകയാണല്ലോ ഫൈവ് സിക്സ് സെവൻ അപ്പോൾ ഈ ആഴ്ച നടത്തപ്പെടുന്നതായ കൺവെൻഷൻ ഇവിടെ അനൗൺസ് ചെയ്തതുപോലെ കൺവെൻഷൻ ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ അക്കൗണ്ട് നമ്പർ ബാധകമല്ല ആർക്ക് വേണമെങ്കിലും രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്യുക പ്രത്യേകം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക ഞായറാഴ്ചത്തെ ആരാധനയാണ് അക്കൗണ്ട് നമ്പർ അനുസരിച്ച് ക്രമീകരിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് കൺവെൻഷൻ ദിവസങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് താല്പര്യമുള്ള ആളുകൾക്കൊക്കെ അതിൽ രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്ത് കടന്നു വരാവുന്നതാണ് കൺവെൻഷൻ നമുക്ക് ലൈവ് സ്ട്രീം ലഭിക്കുന്നത് ഇടവകയുടെ വെബ്സൈറ്റ് വഴിയല്ല അത് ലഭിക്കുന്നത് യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ മുഖാന്തരമാണ് ഡബ്ല്യു ഡബ്ല്യു യു ഡോട്ട് സുമോ ജേക്കബ് ഡോട്ട് കോം എന്നതായ ഇതിൽ യൂട്യൂബ് ലിങ്ക് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അയച്ച് അയച്ചു തരുന്നതാണ് പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട സുമോദാണല്ലോ സുമോ ജെ കെ ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫി ഡോട്ട് കോം എന്നുള്ളതായ ഇതിൽ നമുക്ക് ലഭ്യമായി തരുന്നതാണ് സുമോദാണല്ലോ നമുക്ക് ലൈവ് സ്ട്രീം ചെയ്ത് നമ്മളെ സഹായിക്കുന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ട് ആ യൂട്യൂബ് ലിങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് വീട്ടിലിരുന്നും നമുക്ക് കൺവെൻഷൻ ശ്രമിക്കാവുന്നതാണ് എന്നാൽ വരാൻ താല്പര്യമുള്ള ആളുകൾക്ക് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്തും കടന്നു വരാവുന്നതാണ് എന്നുള്ളതും സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം ദൈവമായ കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരുമിച്ച് തന്ന നല്ല ഫെലോഷിപ്പിനായി നിന്നോട് സ്തോത്രം ദൈവകൃപയെ ഞങ്ങളെ ഓരോരുത്തരെയും പൊതുയണമേ സകല ആവശ്യങ്ങളിലും നീ അവിടുന്ന് കൂടിയിരിക്കണമേ കർത്താവെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രത്യേകം പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു സൺഡർ സ്കൂൾ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളെ ഞങ്ങൾ നന്ദിയോടെ ഓർക്കുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ദൈവം നൽകി തന്നതായ ഉത്തരവാദിത്വങ്ങൾ ഭംഗിയായി നിർവഹിപ്പാൻ ദൈവത്തിന് വേണ്ടി അനേകരെ നേടുവാൻ തക്കോണം ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കണം മഹത്വം അവിടെ നിന്നെടുക്കണം യേശു മിശിഖാമൂലം ഞങ്ങളങ്ങോട്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ദൈവവും നീ കേൾക്കുമാറാകണമേയും ആമേ ഒരു കാര്യം കൂടെ പറയട്ടെ ഇന്ന് വൈകിട്ട് സിക്സ് തേർട്ടി പി എമ്മിന് ഇടവ മിഷൻ്റെ പ്രയ പ്രയർ സൂം സൂം പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോമിൽ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കുന്നതാണ് എന്നുള്ളതും ഓർപ്പിക്കുന്നു താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച്